How's it going everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to solve the software browser is not working on iPhone. So let's say you just try to use your browsers on your device, but it gives you some unwanted errors, gives you some pop-up, maybe it says uh, can't connect to the server, or maybe you are not being able to, you know, use it properly. Then in today's video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide to know everything you can do to solve any problems from your browser. So let's go. The very first things we are going to take a look at is nothing but our internet. So you can do a couple of things first. You can, um, you know, try to go to YouTube apps or Facebook or Instagram just to see whether your internet is actually working well or not. So if you see, well, you have problems with the internet, then uh, you can swap down from the top and enable the airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds, or you can uh, switch your network. Let's say you're using mobile data, turn it off and turn into Wi-Fi, or you can do the vice versa. You can turn into mobile data, turn into Wi-Fi and see if that works or not. So this is the very, very basic. So let's go and take a look at the advanced troubleshooting guides for Safari browser. First, we're going to take a look at the settings, scroll down to general, and we are going to just go to that uh, iPhone storage, uh, find out the Safari browser here. So what we need to do from here, we got to tap on website data. If you found any website data from here, simply remove it from the bottom. If there's nothing, get out of here, go back, uh, go back to the main settings again. And scroll down to the apps, find out the Safari browser again. So let me type it here, select that apps. I scroll down to the bottom and find out the clear history and website data. Select all history and select all profiles. So make sure to close all tabs as well. Tap clear history. And there you are. So after that, you want to just go to the advanced and make sure you're actually not enabling the block all cookies. If you enable this in particular apps or, you know, settings in your Safari apps, then it will not let you use certain websites. So make sure to turn it off from your browser and you're selecting advanced tracking and fingerprint off. Sometimes these settings are also going to interact and will not let you use some of the, you know, website. Uh, now simply get out of here and restart your iPhone. You're all good to go. Now, after following all of that, if you still have a problem, there's two last things you guys can do. You can open up your settings, you can go to the uh, general here, check out the software update. If you found if there's a new software available on your iPhone, go and update that. However, if there's a no update, get back here, scroll down, tap chance find reset iPhone, tap reset, select reset all settings. The reason for you to choose reset all settings in order to clear out all that uh, box of glitches that might uh, that you might have with your browser. So if you do this, you will clear out everything and your problem will be solved and you'll be able to use your software browser all over again without facing any problem. Still have problems, please let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.